Hi everyone, it's Virgin Galactic here with a quick explainer video about our re-entry system, the Feather. Now, when most people think about rocket science, they tend to think about how hard it is to blast up off of the surface of the Earth. You know, you need a lot of speed, a lot of energy to slip the, the bonds of gravity and to, to make it out into outer space. But of course, physics tells us that every bit of energy that you put into the vehicle, you got to get back out of the vehicle when you want to turn around and come back home. If you're moving really, really fast on the way back up, you're going to be moving fast on the way back down. If you look at the history of human spaceflight, you can see that people have found a couple of different ways to solve this challenge. A few different ways to come back from space and safely land here on the surface of the Earth. Broadly speaking, you can divide them into two categories. There's vehicles with wings and things that look like capsules. Things with wings are really gentle to fly on. They can gracefully dive back into the atmosphere, slipping in and exactly the right angle so that the astronauts on board the vehicle get a nice smooth ride that doesn't have too many g-forces. There's not that much acceleration going on. They also have the advantage that they can come to land very precisely on a known point on the ground. You know, before one of the flights of NASA's space shuttle orbiters, you could say with confidence that the vehicle is going to land right here, right on the space shuttle landing facility at Kennedy Space Center. You could probably nail it down to within just a few feet. Now, on the flip side, you have things like capsules, just like the Americans used in the earliest days of their space program, and just like the Russians and Chinese have used throughout the course of their space program. Instead of needing to come in at this very specific angle like the space shuttle did, capsules can come in at a much broader variety of angles. They can turn themselves over because that's how the airflow around the vehicle will work. They also have the advantage of spreading that heat of the friction of reentry all across the entire belly of the vehicle. So instead of having just a few spots getting very, very hot, you have the entire vehicle heating up to a much lesser degree. The downside is that capsules decelerate much more quickly. It's like belly flopping instead of diving into the atmosphere. And also because capsules generally tend to land under parachutes, you can't say with that much accuracy exactly where the vehicle is going to land, which can be an issue if you need to reclaim your crew or pull experiments off the vehicle right after you come down and land on the ground. Now, as we at Virgin Galactic and our partners designed our own space system, we decided it would be really nice if we could get the best of both worlds. And nicely, each of these two different modes, things with wings and things with capsules, each show advantages at different points during the flight. So we decided to build a vehicle that behaves like a capsule when it's best to behave like a capsule and behaves like a winged vehicle when it's best to have wings. So during the initial part of reentry, we actually fold up the wings on our vehicle using a system called the Feather, which was first proven on Spaceship One, our prototype vehicle, back in 2004. Now, when the wings are folded up like this, aerodynamically, the vehicle behaves much like a capsule would. The analogy the inventor has always used is that of a badminton shuttlecock. If you've ever held a shuttlecock in your hands and tried throwing it, you know that no matter which way you're holding it, it's always going to reorient itself with the bulb in front and the feathers trailing behind. Our vehicle works much the same way. So that if we were ever coming home in an orientation that wasn't exactly what we typically do, we know that just the force of aerodynamics on the vehicle would flip the vehicle around so that we enter belly first and we spread all that friction heat across the entire belly of the spacecraft. Once we've slowed down a good amount and the vehicle's now once again at a safe speed, and once the atmosphere is now thick enough that having wings really makes sense, allows us to steer the vehicle, we go ahead and fold the wings back down, and now we're a winged vehicle again. And we can come back home safely and gently like a glider, come to a safe landing at Spaceport America, the same facility we took off from just a few hours before. That's the way that we've decided to manage this really tricky problem of not only getting up into space, but coming back home safely.